Internal range liquidity and external range liquidity is what separates a good trader from a profitable trader. Let me ask you a question. Why does price move? Now, if you do not know the answer to this, I will tell you. Price always moves because of two key factors. Now, price is constantly doing one of two things. Price is always seeking liquidity in the form of old highs and old lows. Or price could be rebalancing inefficiency, which basically means filling fair value gaps. And that's it. That's all market does. This is why all you need is a good understanding of liquidity and fair value gaps in order to be profitable. The first thing we are going to do is define external range liquidity and internal range liquidity. Starting off with external range liquidity. External range liquidity is simply swing highs and swing lows in the form of sell side liquidity and buy side liquidity. Earlier in the video, I said market does one of two things. Market either seeks liquidity or rebalances in efficiency. This is seeking liquidity. Market seeking liquidity would be taking out our sell side or buy side liquidity. Internal range liquidity is simply fair value gaps. Now, it can be order blocks. However, I recommend you guys stick to fair value gaps as it is what works best. Now, you may be wondering, what is the relationship between internal range liquidity and external range liquidity? Now, I've said earlier multiple times that market does one of two things, rebalances in efficiency or seeks liquidity. So, how can we use this to our advantage? Once market rebalances in efficiency, also known as taking our internal range liquidity, market will come and take our external range liquidity as shown here. From taking external range liquidity, market will come and take our internal range liquidity, our fair value gap right here. Now, whether market wants to take external range liquidity to the upside or to the downside is whether market respects this fair value gap. Now, presumably, as traders, we would wish for market to come respect this fair value gap and drop off. However, if we see market, if we see price action not respecting this fair value gap, if we see market pushing higher, we should assume our external range of liquidity, our sell side liquidity will be taken. Now with market playing around in our fair value gap, we get these indecision candles left. Now market formed this order block, further reinforcing our move to the upside. Now from here, once we've swept this external range of liquidity, I would presume market to come down, respect this fair value gap and move higher, taking out this external range of liquidity all the way up here. Now on your chart, there will be different types of ranges, but there is two main types of ranges we will discuss. There's a short term range and an intermediate term range. What is a short term range to start off? A short term range is simply from a swing low to a swing high or a swing high to a swing low. Our intermediate term range is essentially the same thing, however, on a bigger scale, as you guys can see right here. Now, it is a swing high to a swing low or a swing low to a swing high. Within an intermediate term range, there could be a short term range as shown below or there could be multiple. Now, all these ranges are the same. They all have external range liquidity from our swing low to our swing high. They also have imbalances left, which is our internal liquidity. They all work the same. However, the main difference is the scale on which they are on. Now, let's hop onto the chart and look at some examples of this. All right, so starting on EURUSD on the four hour, as you guys can see, we do have a range right here. As you guys can see, we do have a fair value gap right here with a breaker block overlapping with it. So. If I play out market and see what market does, you can see we do tap into this fair value gap and we do react off it nicely. As you guys can see, we do not have any candles displacing over one another. So this leads my bias for market to come take out our external range liquidity down here. Now here is how you can implement this into your own market to find trades. So from here on the four hour, we see market reacting nicely off this fair value gap. We're going to drop to the 15 minute. Lo and behold, we do leave a beautiful order block right here. Now, if you do want to watch my video on order blocks and how to trade order blocks properly, it's on my channel and it's an amazing video which will help you guys a lot. However, as you guys can see, simply if I place my order as so, stop loss above the swing high and target all the way down to my external range liquidity for about 72 pips. Now, play out market. As you guys can see, we do get that tap, that sniper entry. Literally, this trade lasted about 15 minutes. You could have caught your, yourself a one to seven for 70 pips in 15 minutes, which is absolutely amazing. Zero drawdown, straight profit, one to seven. Absolutely amazing. Now that we've taken our external range liquidity, I'm going to hop back onto the four hour time frame and to remove all drawings. And I'm going to play out market once again. Now. 
if I do play out market, you guys can see. Do we sweep below this low or do we run this low? Knowing the difference between a sweep of liquidity and a run on liquidity will change your trading forever. Now, as you guys can see, a sweep is if we do sweep below this low and we end up reversing, that is a sweep. A run is if we do get a continuation below this low. So in this specific scenario, as you guys can see, we do form this big candle right here and we do have the low of the candle right here. Now, if I play out the next candle, you guys can see, this candle fails to displace the low of this candle. The body of this candle fails to displace the low of this candle. If you guys watch my video on daily bias, you'll understand what I'm saying. And you guys can see the next candle, the body of this candle fails to displace the low of this candle. Now if I bring it on to the next, you guys can see market keeps failing to displace each candle as you guys can see. Now, we do get the first displacement to the upside as you guys can see right here. The candlesticks tell you everything. Now, when each candle is struggling to displace below the low of these candles, it just shows me market wants to move upwards. However, when market strongly displaces the high of this candle, it just shows me market wants to move upwards. Now, if I play the next candle, you guys can see we do form a beautiful fair value gap right here. Now, this could be your next entry. Now, as we do get our fair value gap, I could place a buy order right here target my external range of liquidity right here or if I do hop onto a 15 minute we could target any PD array around here so you could target this breaker block right here as for stop loss you want to place your stop loss where the trade becomes invalid so stop loss right here where the trade is invalid for a nice one to two so if I do play out the trade you guys can see we do smash pass our take profit just like that it is that simple guys we, do, we did form a new range from here where we do have our external range liquidity right here. Now, I want you guys to quickly look at this chart and note to me what would be another reason we would look to take out this high right here. Now, the correct answer would be market not respecting this fair value gap right here. As you guys can see, we do get market react off it slightly. However, market just displaces past it. So if I do end up playing market, you guys can see we do end up taking out this high right here, forming a new range right here, with this being our external range low and this being our external range high right here. So now within this intermediate term range, we also do have this short term range right here, where this is our external liquidity right here. Now within this, we do have two fair value gaps. So I'm going to play market and see what market respects. If market does not respect this fair value gap, I'd look for this fair value gap to be respected. If not, I would look for market to take take it lower and try to take out this external liquidity right here. So let me play out market for you guys. As you guys can see, market fully displaces past this first fair value gap, and we do get a tap into this fair value gap right here. Now, here's where you could have fame, framed another entry. So once you saw market reacting off this fair value gap, you could have then dropped to your 15 minute and framed an entry off this. How? You may ask firstly we do have another pd array in line with our fair value gap right here as you guys can see we do have this low right here or this could be another range right here this is market taking our external liquidity then market will reverse and we will get a sweep right here so now if i let market play out well firstly this order block right here which you could have entered off now we do also have another order block right here as you guys can see, which is going to be the one I'm going to enter off. Now, if I do place a long position right here, stop loss below the swing low. And I do target our external range liquidity for 37 pips. This trade is a nice one, two, three. So if I hop back onto the four hour time frame and play it out for you guys, you guys can see how we do tap in, we get our entry and we instantly take out that external range liquidity with hitting for about 86 pips potentially, which you could have. Market smashed through this external range of liquidity. Now that we've hit a one to three, a one to seven, and a one to two, you guys can do the calculations and see how profitable this strategy really is all in a couple of days of time. By now, I can hope you guys can see the relationship between internal and external range of liquidity. In every single example I've shown, 
Marquez either going from internal liquidity, such as in this example, to external liquidity, or going from external liquidity to coming down to our internal liquidity. I'm going to show you guys once again. So if I just play at market again, you guys can see we do form a new range. So if I just get rid of a couple of these drawings, you guys can see we do form this new range right here. So we do also have a fair value gap left in behind. And I'm going to mark out our internal and external liquidity. So as you guys can see, internal liquidity is obviously the fair value gap. External liquidity, our swing high and our swing low here, for example. So now deleting our orange. range. If we play out market, we can see how market plays around in this range. With terrible price delivery right here, you can see market is playing around in this fair value gap before rejecting it towards the upside. So this is all signs showing me market wants to come take out this external range high right here. So if I continue playing out market, you can see we do eventually take that high again. All this because I've seen market is not respecting this fair value gap right here. Price showed me everything. So we also had an order block right here, which you could have labeled as internal liquidity right here, which market has respected. And once again, you guys can see we've swept this high right here. As you can see, we went above this high, returned back, went external liquidity is taken, come back to internal liquidity, come back to external liquidity where we take it up here. So now within this whole intermediate term range, there is a lot of short term ranges which you could have used as additional confluences such as this one. This is just what I'm seeing off the top of my head. So we do have this intermediate term range with external range highs and external range lows along with our internal liquidity right here. So as you guys can see, market comes into this fair value gap. We do get market reacting off of it. However, we just see market completely disregards it, mitigates it, and which eventually market comes, takes this short term ranges, external range high. So as simple as that, all these signs were leading up to this intermediate term high getting taken. Now, here is where it gets a little bit tricky, where I was discussing a sweep versus a run. Now, in every other example, say in when market took this external range of liquidity here, you can see this big rejection block indicating that market was going to return and sweep this liquidity rather than running off. Now, if I do guys, if I show you guys another example, say as this range right here. So if I just highlight this range for you guys, you can see this external range high right here is swept because market is struggling to stay above this range right here. As you can see, market barely stays above it, however, quickly comes down. So Anytime you can see that price is showing you that it's struggling to stay above an old high, you can confidently say it's a sweep. If market is showing you signs such as this, where we do get three candles each displacing one another. So as you can see, this candle displaces the high of this candle and we do have this candle displace this candle. We just know we are in an uptrend. Market is going to move bullish. So if I do end up playing market for you, you can see we do get a bit of rejection. However, market has already shown us it does want to move bullish. So as you guys can see, we do end up getting this huge wick right here, this huge body of a candle. And we do get an order block to further reinforce our theory to the upside. So if I do play at market, we do end up moving and running away from this high right here. So before I continue the video, I just want to show you guys how you can generate results like I have. On the 1st of April, I was able to pass my FTMO challenge. I then used my funded challenge where I was funded $100,000 in capital to then generate myself a nice $4.7,000 in profits. Now you may be wondering how was I able to achieve this? I have a proven and working system in place where we can help you guys reach the same results where we can pass your challenge and we can lead you to payouts. Now we've helped so many people. If you click the first link in the description and you join this telegram channel at pass my challenge, you guys can see how many people we've really helped get funded. As you guys can see, we've helped Abdi reach $8,500 in payouts. We've helped many people pass their FTMO challenges. As you can see, we have so many testimonials where people are passing their challenges. We have so many happy clients. As you can see, Tyro has got funded here with FTMO. So if you guys want to get funded, if you guys want to get payouts, if you want any more information, make sure you message me at on Telegram at Ems Capitals by firstly joining the group at past my challenge first link in the description thank you the main takeaways you should take away from this video is one the relationship between external and internal uh, range liquidity so market moves from external range liquidity to internal 
or moves from internal to external. Now, you can use this accordingly to frame your bias. This is how you can catch trades. I've shown you guys a couple of examples. However, there is many ways you can use this concept to frame your bias and frame your narrative. So number two is a sweep versus a run. Understanding whether if market goes over an old high or low, if market goes over external range of liquidity, for you to understand if market is going to continue, if you're going to get a continuation, or if you're going to get a reversal. That is so important in order to frame your bias. Knowing this is based off the behavior of the candles as i've shown if market is not displacing above or below candles you can figure out if market is going to sweep or run third and final thing is for you guys to understand trend properly how do we know if we are in a bullish trend or if we are in bearish now what does bullish price action show you firstly i'll show you guys on the chart right here quickly so as you guys can see we are sweeping below old lows however we are running old highs this is a telltale sign we are in a bullish trend. This is what price action shows. If we are sweeping lows, showing market cannot uh, displace these lows right here. Market cannot stay below these lows. Market has to reject and reverse up here. However, market is comfortably running these highs right here. We are running this high. We are running this high. We are running multiple highs and market is comfortably doing that. This is a sign of bullish price action. It's the same for bearish. This is our third and final takeaway for the video. So if you stick to these three steps, if you listen to everything I've said in the video, you guys can 100% become profitable. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.